Hi guys, this is uh, something I've talked about before, but um, with uh, some of your tools you can get some strange things happen with uh, some of the plastic parts of the tools. And um, this is a, a tool chest I use regularly, um, but as I was opening and closing the drawers this morning, I noticed I was getting a, a whiff of... Um, uh, vinegar or acetic acid coming out and as I went down the uh, the various drawers I was looking for uh, where that smell was coming from and when I got down to here uh, it's really powerful and what it is here is a, a screwdriver uh, that's weeping uh, acetic acid and you can see you see the shine on that I don't know if the lights catching that um, but that has got a liquid coating on part of the handle uh, it's not all over the handle but look what it's done to the surface of the paint there um, and this, this is the blade of a, a surform type tool, one of, one of these things, uh, rubbishy, <laughs> rubbishy old thing, I think it was my dad's. Um, but look at this, you see the, uh, the coating on there, that's gone rusty there, and you can see the, the dust, the rust that has fallen off it. Um, and that is because of the, the fumes of this acetic acid um, uh, will actually make everything in the tool chest rusty uh, over time. So you've really got to watch out for this. It's a, a degradation of the plastic. I think it was a plastic that they used in the, I don't know, 1960s or something. I made a, a, an earlier video about a chisel um, that had failed. Uh, the same thing and I could smell the acetic acid so if you get that vinegary smell in your in your workshop but look out for something like this um, let's say you can see this if I if I rub this on my hand you'll see my hand will be wet you see my thumb there probably not um, uh, but it's it just produces this uh, it just produces this horrible moist surface and I say the fumes of it, the vapour that comes off it, uh, are corrosive. Um, I don't think it'll hurt you and, um, but it will rust your tools. Um, so anyway I just thought I'd show you that. That's the second uh, tool I've had like that uh, in a year or two. Um, uh, been contacted by a few people that ask me uh, why, aren't, why am I not very active on YouTube and I do apologise. Uh, um, uh, when I first made my YouTube videos I used to respond to every single comment and person that made contact with me because uh, I do appreciate the kind words and the interest in the videos. But unfortunately I don't like what Google have done to the response system or the notification system and uh, this uh, this new way of uh, notification I really don't care for so I don't respond to um, many if any of the comments on the videos now so it's a shame because they've, they've really spoiled it for me and I think there are one or two other people that have uh, that are not making as many uh, I'm going to say useful videos um, uh, but uh, anyway, I thought I'd share this with you. Um, my own interest, by the way, I've got interested in um, uh, stained glass. Uh, I've made some stained glass panels for the house here. And I also got interested in bead making, of all things. Uh, I love working with glass and hot glass in particular. Um, but um, I haven't made any videos on those, at least I don't think I have. Um, but uh, anyway. If you've uh, got a vinegary smell in your workshop and in a, a tool chest in particular, uh, look out for tools like this. They'll be old tools 
and the, the plastic is uh, degrading and producing this uh, acetic acid and the, the fumes are corrosive um, and uh, you really need to just throw them away. There's the, I don't know of any treatment for this so it's, it's just a case of chuck it away it's, it will wreck the other tools or the fine tools in the toolbox. Okay guys um, thanks for watching bye bye Um, but anyway, if you've uh, got a vinegary smell in your workshop and in a, a tool chest in particular, uh, look out for tools like this. They'll be old tools and the, the plastic is uh, degrading and producing this uh, acetic acid and the, the fumes are corrosive. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.